small American town 15 years ago. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Will over at the Castle of Disaster and the Halloween Hell Show 2016. Man, work has been a real son of a bitch lately. I have no idea. It just seems like no matter what I do, when it comes in September and October, all this business just kind of pops. So, anyway, we're working through it. I'm working late tonight, and I am bringing to you guys a late night edition where we're going to be talking about Halloween sodas. They've got this awesome place called the World Market. I don't know if they have them where you guys live, um, but here in North Carolina, they're always attached to like Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I think that they're all one conglomerate. They just have their specific things. World Market is a little bit different because it is it's a world market. It's an international food and furniture and little trinkets and kitchen items and things like that. It's a very cool thing. It's kind of like Pure One, except a lot larger and a loop. I don't know what the right terminology for that is, but uh, it, it's more broad, I think. A lot less wicker. Anyway, the cool thing is, especially in the edible varieties, they have food from all over the place. And during the Halloween, Christmas, and Thanksgiving seasons, they really hit home runs because they kind of cover the full gamut. And they always hit home runs when it comes to weird Halloween sodas that you just can't get anywhere else. I know last year my boy uh, Brian over at uh, Review the World and my boy Dave who has the, the awesome radio pr program uh, Dark Entries, Dave, DJD from what you guys might affectionately remember him over at uh, X Entertainment. We covered, the, yeah, these two, Frankenstein, Green Apple, and Bride of Frankenstein. I'll put the links down below so you guys will watch that because it's really funny and those guys do such a good job with me. I really wish they were here. You have to pour a little bit off for my homies who aren't here, but this year they came out with a couple new ones. So what we didn't get to cover last year, I'm going to cover solo tonight for you, which is really rad. First one up, this one I had to just get, I, I mean my eyes were drawn to it immediately. It's Mummy Haunted Cream. So I'm thinking, even though it's purple, Frankenstein already did, or the Bride of Frankenstein already did the grape soda. So even though it's purple with a cool looking mummy and a corpse, I think it's going to be a cream soda. I'm not really sure. The bottle's worth it. It's not a twist off. <laughs> Where's the lighter? I'll be right back. Okay, anyway, back to the show. Okay, so we have Mummy Haunted Cream, which is pretty awesome. This cartoon mummy is completely rad. I didn't know that mummies drink cream soda. I'm assuming that's what this is. It could be anything different. If it's something different, I got something to talk about. All right, down the hatch. First Halloween soda down, world market. Oh yeah, completely cream soda. I don't ever have any real thoughts about cream soda. It's good, it's super sweet. It's something that you would really, really enjoy as a kid. Pretty tasty, but the purple label always kind of throws you because you think you're going to drink a grape soda, and it's not. Even though your mind is starting to play a little more tricks with you because I'm tasting some grape aftertones. Look over there, mummy. You're messing with me. All right, the next one looks really awesome. Actually, this might be a year-round type thing, but I'm including it in the Halloween section because I found a bottle on the shelf in World Market right next to all the other monster sodas, but the top had been split open and crap all over the place. But I did find this in their cooler section, so it's um, Sipping Cherry Cola Spider Venom. So this is uh, probably a dark sweet cherry soda from what they say. And uh, typical cherry cola, which is pretty awesome because, like I said, my buddy uh, Brian is a huge cherry coke fan. Uh, you think that you're a cherry coke fan? Nothing on this kid. 
Oh shit. That's pretty rad actually. Spider Venom. That gets the mind rolling in the Halloween department. Quite heavily actually. Dark Cherry Cola. I can't think of a better beverage for Halloween. I'm in. Sold. You got me. That thing, that is unbelievably good. Alright, last but not least, I was going to actually leave this for after uh, the Halloween section or season when we get into uh, the Christmas, Thanksgiving. You know, that, that all kind of blends into one. We'll talk about that later. But this is Jones Soda. <laughs> we already talked about Jones Soda <laughs> and what they decided to not do this year. But they still have their signature tag along ones. They have their Halloween soda still out there in bottles at places like World Market. It's still Lemon Drop Dead and Blood Orange Soda in the bottles. It's still cool. I'm not dissing Jones Soda. I did hear from them. But uh, this one's a little different. I haven't had it. This is pumpkin pie soda. It ties in the Halloween season. It's pumpkin. It's something. I had, to, I had to buy it. I can't get enough pumpkin right now. I know that people are saying that pumpkin's on the verge of dying out and making way for something new. I haven't seen it yet. Pumpkin's still king. Ooh, that's different. It's delicious, but I gotta hand it to them. This is a holiday beverage. It ain't Halloween. This right there, I'm gonna revisit that. We're talking about Football, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the cool stuff, I would definitely rock that for that. But for Halloween, I'm going to stick to Spider Venom. Mummy, you're cool. You're going on the shelf. These two guys are getting preserved for life. I still have a bunch of monster sodas downstairs in the, uh, in the man, cage, in man Cave Big Fridge. Um, nobody's taking me up on drinking those. They're over a year old, so who knows. Anyway, this is Overworked Will, um, coming to you with Cash Flow Disaster Halloween Hell Show. I'm sorry this kind of thrown together, but I had, I had a dish on these things. Super great. If you're in the world, world market around that, or you have friends there, hit them up. Go buy these sodas. You got to do it. It's pretty rad. All right. See you guys. All right. I'm just going to take some fancy editing to make that entertaining.